Tampa Bay Lightning are in the Stanley Cup Finals. The Tampa Bay Rays just clinched a playoff spot. The Bucks, although they are 0-1, have Tom Brady as their quarterback. And I don't care. Let's go. This is Legacy Over Likes. I am Drew. Like so many others, we're just tuned out for multiple reasons. I've given my thoughts on this, right? I've talked about that. Some people, I think, like myself, we've just we've realized that there are other things that are just more important in life, right? But I really want to look at this from a, a slightly different perspective right now. And I want to just talk about the fact that we just we have to learn lessons. As crummy as this year has been, if we can learn something from this so that we don't allow these things to happen to us again, then I feel like it's worth it. Anytime things that that are bad happen to us, right? If we learn something from it going forward, if we grow and become better, then in my mind is worth it. Because I've gone through some stuff in my life that at the time I looked at and I was like, man, this is ridiculous. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how I'm going to get out of this. I don't know how I'm going to whatever. And then going through that experience helped me going forward, helped me to grow as an individual, just to become a better person. And I hope that we learn lessons from this year. And one of the things we need to learn from this year is the fact that people will do anything when it comes to money and power. We've been played this year. We've been played. We've been put in the middle of this political agenda that's been on both sides. And in the end, we're just like pawns. I've always been frustrated when you work for these large corporate companies and you feel as though you're just a number right that they don't know your name you're just a number and that's what we've be- that's what we've become you're just a social security number you're just the person that contributes by paying your taxes like who are you and when i look at the nfl the NBA, Major League Baseball, they're all going to, at some point, they're gonna realize, wow, we pandered to the wrong group of people. And they're gonna try to come back from it. Now, I bring this up because this past Thursday night, the Cincinnati Bengals and the Cleveland Browns played each other. I was not gonna watch this game, but Black and White Sports brought this up. And they mentioned that there was there was a lack of this social justice stuff going on, right? You didn't see the messages everywhere. So I flipped the game on. And sure enough, the end zone, as I saw in all the other games that I had seen, it, it, you know, some kind of message, either end racism or whatever in the end zone. And they did not have that in this game. I did, however, notice that there were several players on the Cincinnati Bengals that had, you know, messages on the back of their helmets, of course. Um, So it wasn't like it was completely gone, but it was noticeable. And I think that we will see this trend just continue on. You know, my last video that I just put up, you know, two of the Steelers players who refused to put Antoine Rose, that name on the back of the helmet. Because the guy is clearly not someone we should be like celebrating as some, you know, uh, innocent bystander who was gunned down by the cops. Um, but we're going to see more and more people wake up, right? More and more people are going to realize. It's like one of those things. Like you're going to see like, you know, 2022, 2023 is going to roll around. And we're going to have like a documentary come out and tell us how we were all duped by so many things this year, right? That's just how it is. And... People are going to wake up. These leagues are going to wake up. They're going to realize they're losing a ton of money. And they're going to try to backtrack. They're going to try to come back and win us all over. And we've got to understand they're not being real. They've never been real. They've never cared about the black community. Do you really think for one second that Roger Goodell, that he just had this huge change of heart? That now all of a sudden, kneeling, now this is something that's a big deal for him. Like so many things have changed in the last four years. I mean, race relations during the Obama administration got worse than, uh, man, maybe at any point in my entire life. Which is crazy to think that it got worse under a black president than it did at any point in my entire life. 
but it did. And I see these people, you know, you see these, the CEOs of like Nike coming out, you know, like really? Like Nike, really? Like you care? Like this company is worth a ridiculous amount of money making its shoes in, you know, Chinese sweatshops. <laughs> literally soaking the money right out of this country as little kids all over you know have to have the newest pair of air jordans you know <laughs> not my kids not anymore i could tell you that much but my my whole point is is that i hope we learn something from this year like i really do i would just hate to see us you know, three years, five years from now, doing the same thing over and over again. It's just, you know, the old saying, history repeats itself. It's bound to happen, but man, I really, I, I hope, I hope these leagues, I don't wish negative on anything or anybody. Uh, it's just not my style, but I certainly wouldn't lose any sleep over these sports leagues absolutely crumbling and falling apart so that's about all i got i'm gonna keep grinding i'm gonna keep moving forward i will always trust the process and i will talk to y'all later i am out